Peter Jackson, who is well known for his expert directing of films such as the Lord of the Rings trilogy, has taken the film industry by surprise with his most recent endeavor, the Beatles' final music video, Now and Then. This endeavor has stunned both fans and critics. Many have seen this avant-garde work of visual narrative as an atrocity, leaving viewers perplexed and wondering whether Jackson has lost all artistic sensibility. The band strays from their signature approach in the video, which is billed as the last project by the remaining Beatles. Some claim that Now and Then betrays the essence of the Beatles, since it ventures into an experimental abyss rather than honoring the eternal heritage of their music. Viewers are left feeling startled and confused by the unusual visual effects combined with the disorienting and surreal scenes. The supposedly haphazard collection of disconnected sequences, which pays little homage to the band's musical skill, appels Beatles fans, who are renowned for their lyrical creativity and inventive in essence song. Jackson has come under fire from those who claim he disnored the Beatles heritage rather than honoring it by straying from coherence and giving in to Pompu's experimentation. Debates about the thin line that separate his pushing creativa limits from lozing the core of the subject matter have been triggered by the discussion around now and then. Some contend that artists need to have the opportunity to pursue new creative endeavors, especially those with the stature like Peter Jackson. Certain legacies, on the other hand, are considered sacrosanct by some and need to be treated with more respect. Now and then ultimately serves as a monument to the divisive nature of art dividing admirers over whether Jackson's audacious experimentation was a brilliant move or an irreversible stain on the Beatles' legendary past.